I'm Lynette and welcome to Life in Australia. So today I'm going to take you to the starting point of Melbourne Public Art. The reason I say it's a starting point is because it's literally two minutes walk from the Flinders station which is the central hub of Melbourne. If you're living in Melbourne or even if you're a tourist, this is where you get off. If you are wanting to know the heart of Melbourne and the spirit of Melbourne, you definitely need to come to the Hostia Lane. And that's the lane where local artists and international artists portray their artwork. The specialty of this lane is that it never remains the same. Every time you walk in, it's always a different experience. And it's also right across the home of Australian art and ACME, which is the Australian Centre of Moving this Image. We'll take you to a journey, come on! on these artworks are amazing and if you look closely these are signed by the artist itself to showcase their talent and skill pretty cool there's more to see over there and also there's a small laneway here take you there As you can see, it's packed with tourists and locals and it's a Sunday today and can you imagine the crowd that's been drawn to this place? It's great, right? Um, and it's people from everywhere, literally. So if you're ever here in Melbourne, definitely add it to your bucket list, you must see this place. I just want to draw attention to this stunning artwork of an Aboriginal child. The Aboriginals are obviously the original owners of this land, Australia. And having this artwork right in the middle of the city, it's almost showing respect to the community that uh, we took, we as in the European settlers took so much from. And the level of detail in that artwork, if you look closely, um, the eyes could show so much pain, the pain they've been through um, in the previous years. And um, this is so beautiful and it's so respectful to show such an image in the heart of Melbourne. So respect to the artist for doing such an incredible job. some coffee yeah okay. so before we take you to the next lane filled with more amazing Melbourne's finest graffiti art we just want to take a break and show you one of Melbourne's favorite drinks coffee Guys, so as promised, we are at another lane to show you the incredible graffiti art of Melbourne. So now we are at the ACDC lane, which ACDC is a rock and roll band from Australia. So this lane is a tribute to the ACDC. Interesting fact, so ACDC lane, the sign up there, um, the lightning bolt is the trademark of ACDC and initially they didn't have that. And another artist, a month later, put that lightning bolt sign over there. Um, his name was Naifiat and so his sign is Naifi. Interesting fact right there and this is not only dedicated to ACDC but also um, many other rock and roll legends like um, Beatles, Pink Floyd, 
and etc. All right, so these signs above me represent the rock and roll band Led Zeppelin and our cameraman especially is so excited about this and there's a particular reason for it. He's got a tattoo with the same signs over there. To bring out your inner demons. The ACDC lane, previously known as the Corporation Lane, is also famous for housing the Cherry Bar, which is a famous rock and roll bar and a nightclub. So as you can see, there's a lot of bars here, and these were dedicated to acknowledge the live music lovers who pledge money to help pay for soundproofing works at the Cherry Bar. A lot of famous people were here, guys. 